Hello, internet friends! Okay, so I didn't like the intro I filmed for this video yesterday. So, new intro. This is my stage makeup tutorial. I know a lot of girls that compete pay people to do their hair and makeup for them. And I know it's really expensive, especially like for people like me. I'm just a waitress. That's all I do. <laughs> I don't have the money to pay somebody to do my hair and my makeup. Um, but lucky for me, I went to school for hair and makeup, so I don't really need to pay someone. So I wanted to make this video to kind of help you guys out if you don't have the money to pay for somebody to do that for you because it's really not that hard it's all about just knowing what you're doing and it's not that hard to learn either so I hope this helps you guys out and I hope you enjoy this video and if you can see I treated myself to a birthday present I am in love with this camera anyway back to the makeup um, you can see I have my suit on under this shirt just so I can kind of see the color because you don't want it to look weird with the color of your suit. So the first product I used is this baby skin pore eraser. And I just put that on my nose and my chin because I have pores there. So you put it anywhere that you have visible pores. The next product I used is a BB cream and you just take a little bit of that and rub it all over your face. It just kind of evens out your skin tone. Then I use concealer and I just put that under my eyes and you want to kind of go into like a triangle below your eyes. That's the best way to cover dark circles. And you can see I use a sponge to blend that in. Um, then I use a foundation. This is a really dark foundation because when you're on stage you're really tan. So that's why I look a little orange here. But you just use, um, I forget what kind of brush it is, but you use this kind of brush and you just blend it in all over your face and your neck too. And to set everything you just want to use a translucent powder. I like this one by Rimmel. It's my favorite. Um, so yeah, you just put that all over. And then I went ahead and used um, this chocolate bronzer by Too Faced. and. What you want to do with bronzer to contour is put it below your cheekbones from your ear to the corners of your mouth and then the sides of your nose, the top of your forehead in the corners, and then like your jawline. And then I went ahead and used an illuminator just to kind of brighten everything up. This is also a part of contouring and highlighting. So I like to put that under my eyes, um, the middle of my nose, the middle right under your nose, above your mouth, in the corners of your eyes, and right above your eyes. And then for eyeshadow, I used my Urban Decay palette. The first color I went with was a kind of neutral but bright sparkly pink and I put that all over my lid you can see that's what it looks like just a sparkly pink and then I went ahead and picked a darker color in between a gray and a black and I put that in the outer corners of my eyelids you can see that there in the outer corners of your lids. You don't want to use too much or go too far out, but just enough so that you're going for like a smoky 
eye look. That's basically what I'm doing here, is a smoky eye look. So you do the darker color, and then you go back in with the pink color, and just, oh well, I added more dark. But then you go back in with the pink color, and you kind of blend it in by brushing back and forth in the middle of the two colors. My camera wasn't focusing. <laughs> Then I went with kind of like a a paler pink color and I put that on my like the bone right under your eyebrows. And then what you see here is just me putting a little gold shadow in the crease of my eyelids just to kind of, I don't know, blend everything together, kind of. <laughs> And then after eyeshadow is done, you just go and put eyeliner on your top and bottom lash lines. Usually you would do eyeliner after using fake lashes, but since I didn't have any fake lashes to use for this practice, like I would when I was actually on st going on stage, I just did the eyeliner right away. Stage makeup has to be really exaggerated, so that's why you see me putting a lot of everything on. Because when you're under the stage lights, they're so bright that they wash everything out. So everything really needs to pop. So then, before mascara, obviously, you gotta curl the eyelashes. And this is my favorite mascara. This is the one that I found works best for me. So you just go ahead and put that on your eyelashes and a good trick to make your eyelashes look longer is once you go over the whole lash with one coat go back over just the outer edges of your eyelashes and that'll make them look longer. So in daily life, I usually just use a powder to fill in my eyebrows, or I don't fill them in at all. But for the stage, I fill them in with a light brown, light medium brown eyeliner pencil because you can be more accurate and it obviously stands out more, makes them look more defined. And I just picked like a matte honey color for my lips. Uh, but before you put on any lipstick, you probably want to use a chapstick, so I used my Coconut Milk Eos, and then I went ahead and I put on the lipstick. And you can see here, I didn't really like the way it looked by itself, so then I found a pink, like a really light pink shade of Revlon lipstick, lip gloss, I'm not really sure which it is, but it's just a really light shade of pink and then I put that over top and the two looked really nice mixed together. You can use whatever color lips you want for your stage makeup, but I prefer a lighter lip 